Hey guys, my name is Chris Parochi. Welcome to a behind the scenes vlog. This time I'm gonna be vlogging our Toman Live at the Lake project. A couple of weeks ago we decided to live stream a live gig played by the Toman hosts. So the band is gonna be Simon on the drums uh, from the Toman drum channel. Andy and I are gonna be here um, playing guitar and singing. Guillaume couldn't make it, which is a pity and we're crying inside really, but next time, hopefully it works out. Julia on the bass, well, Julia broke her wrist, so she cannot play, which is so sad. Um, but luckily we have enough musicians at Tolman. Dominic, who's a very, very nice colleague, uh, is gonna help out on the bass, which is great. And also uh, Jason on the synth and keys and everything. So uh, it's gonna be an awesome project. Let me walk you through the gear I'm playing. I had to change my pedal board for instance, but let's start with the guitars. First of all, uh, we need two guitars, one in E flat and one in standard E. And uh, I will have a backup definitely for the standard E as well. So my E flat guitar is gonna be my junior, this one here. Well, it's not really a junior, it's a 2015 model. It's called the CM, the Chick Magnet. What a stupid name. And uh, it used to be black and used to have one humbucker. I refinished it and uh, put in a Lowler P90. So that's gonna be my E flat guitar. And uh, the obvious choice for my E standard tuning is, of course, my Tally. What else? So uh, that's gonna be my main guitar. And um, as backup, I've chosen my Strat. Um, why did I not choose my Les Paul, which I love? Well, the thing is that it has so much more output than my Tally has that it would have been terrible to swap without changing all the knobs and settings on the pedals and the amps. So um, I went for a single coil guitar as a backup guitar. I will use two amps. I will run a wet dry setup. It feels stereo and it feels absolutely wonderful. I had the pleasure of joining um, Mick and Dan from That Pedal Show on one of their shows in June. Um, if you want to check out the video that came out uh, a few days ago, I'll put the, uh, the video in the description box. It was an incredible experience. So I decided, okay, now it's time to go for a wet dry setup, finally. As you can see, I have pedals all over the place and even more in that box and in that box and in some other boxes. I had to remove a few of my go-to pedals. Um, my new favorite one is the G2 and um, I love this uh, Gypsy Fuzz and my Wah on my normal board. So those are normally on my board. I had to put them away this time because um, I was going for some specific sounds I need to practice right now. I don't have a lot of time and it's like four days until the show. So uh, it's time to go. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, sort of noon and uh, we are at the Toman rehearsal room. So I'll just show you around. There's a, a beautiful guitar and also an Andy. Hello everybody, I'm Andy. No, he's not. He's lying. No, I'm not. I'm actually David. And I've been David for a while. Actually, everybody, genuinely, Chris, I'm quite stressed. Like, I'm, I'm Me not, too. not a stressed kind of person. Yeah. I'm normally pretty chill and relaxed, yeah. and some might say too relaxed. <laughs> but right now, see, I don't no. know if you're laughing or, or because you agree or laughing because let's just move on. Let's just. I'm pretty stressed because we are about to start playing, and it's 14:22 uh, on Tuesday. We have the gig at 19:45 on Thursday. Mm -hmm. But we really only have. 48 hours from now because we have to do the rehearse the technical yeah, rehearsal yeah exactly like lights and sound and everything so yeah. we need to play together for the first time <laughs> we actually have to play together in this constellation the first time yeah okay the way all right um i'll show you around this is my corner this is the prettiest corner some corner of awesome dry wet sounds dry amp wet amp sick pedal board Yeah, 
This is the Katana Artist, yeah. yeah. But I'm mainly using it for the clean channel. I may, I may even put the pedals into the, uh, the return oh. of the effects loop. Oh, that's the Dookie, right? That's the Dookie. Oh, right. It's the Antares Overdrive from Tate Effects. Yeah. That's the Wailer version 2 from Magnet Effects. Great. That's and a G Lab oh, really? wah pedal, which is activated by pressure. Yeah, sweet. Uh, that's that's my wireless unit, which I'm using for the first time. Oh, really? That's my You'll Flint Strymon. Uh, yeah. Flint Strymon, Flint. Flint Strymon. And this is from JSA Pedals in the UK. It's a compressor that when it starts compressing, this blue light comes on. Like it would in a studio compressor. Oh, nice. So it nice flashes touch. on. It's Nice touch. It's pretty good. Oh, Jay. <laughs> Ah, can't hear anything. I'm guitar ears. Jason, <laughs> keyboard player. I'm playing keyboards. Yeah, clearly, as you can see from this rather expensive custom shop guitar I'm playing. <laughs> um, yes, but um, so, I love your choice of um, straps. This is unusual because I went through the entire stock room and settled on this fabulous strap, only to find that Chris has exactly the same strap on his guitar oh, so. previously, so, well, um, yeah. Now we're strap buddies. We're strap buddies for life. Oh, man. Gotta be good. Ah. Yeah! What is this set? It's the Masters Maple Complete drum set in a Ooh. very nice red sparkle. Yes, we like sparkle. Uh, we all need a little sparkle in our lives. Nice. 10-inch uh, rack tom, 12-inch rack tom, 16-inch floor tom. Just see you move. And I have yeah, this I very know. nice um, Ludwig snare. Ooh. Just like a vintage Whoa, wait a second. snare. That's as deep as a, a side tom. The hell? It's side deeper than the <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's a 14 by 8. Wow. And I tuned it fairly high. Wait. wait. Sounds very cracky. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Woo. nice. And over here I got a Pearl uh, Sensitone Elite Phosphor Bronze snare, which is a 14 by 6.5. And, and I tuned it very low. Sounds like, a, like an effect. Yeah, or like back to the 80s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> snare. <laughs> yeah, sweet. And that is a 61. Okay. 69. August 69. P bass. P bass original. And that's Dominic, everyone. Hey, how you doing? Sweet. That is so. Yeah. In this, look at this. In this awesome. 69. P bass. Shell pink. With a refin. Refinish. Yep. Yeah. Refin. Original version was a sunburst version. Oh, sweet. Ah, the glove. Sweet. Uh, it's Good. quite cheap, but uh, it's, I love, oh, it's I love awesome. It. It's also Absolutely cool. I'm very proud of it. It's an old TC electronic I know these. Oh, from the yeah. 90s, I guess. Bass octave uh, from AVXR. A little compressor. The of space. The Nova Delay no. looks like uh, spaceship stuff or keyboard, <laughs> stu keyboard <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Starlifter um, preamp Ooh. from uh, Nordstrand. Okay. That's it. Oh, sweet. Awesome. This is our monitor desk, right? Yes. That's crazy. We use uh, uh, the same uh, products for the uh, mix, for the output mix and okay. for the monitors. Okay. So two mixers side and side. Wow. But for this rehearsal, just one console. Just the monitor console. Yeah. Wow, sick. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> let's find Andy. So, yes, mate. First day, done. I'm pretty exhausted, if I'm honest. We're done. We, we yeah, made we, a few adjustments. Uh, almost all the songs, right? Like, and uh, we figured out some arrangements. We figured out who has to learn what, what's left to to prepare. Basically, I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight either. Jason's not sleeping. I've got keyboard parts to learn of things that I have no idea. It's going to be a little bit. Shake it, shake it. Very well. I well, think. Simon, the chill, chilled out drummer. Like, I think I go to bed at like eight. Yeah, maybe. Simon, do you mind if we play this in E flat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's not a <laughs> monkey tennis. Monkey <laughs> tennis. Monkey tennis. <laughs> tennis isn't it? We actually had our in-ear monitoring going on, so we rehearsed with in-ears, which is pretty cool because we sort of get used to the sound we get on stage as well, and that helps us be more confident. Say goodbye for today. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. 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 goodbye.
Thanks for the jam. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm going to make you coincidental that I just touched something and it stopped working. But I don't think it was me touching it that made it not work. I think it just stopped working. There was seriously... Dad, 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 I looked at it and it broke. I looked at it, Dad. It was like this when I get... We all, we all have children. We know that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> they don't destroy stuff. They just oh, look, look at, at them. <laughs> I think I never heard Andy laugh like that. All right, so uh, they are <laughs> troubleshooting because Jason looked at our monitoring and um, <laughs> the desk just died. So uh, they all sorted it out. And during that, I will just uh, walk you through my setup. So... This is my board. It's a wet, dry board. And um, I'll show you what's going on here. So, the first loop is for two pedals. It's going to be the fuzzy head from Angle. Goes into the Foxcatcher Copper Sound, one of the best drive pedals I've ever, ever, ever played. Then the second one is the G2. It says G2 because normally I have my G2 there. Right now I have the Archer because it gives me a different gain structure and that's more what I can use in this situation. Then the next one is the King of Tone Red channel, which is this side, that's my main gain sound. Next loop is the fourth one, the King of Tone Solo, which is a clean boost sound, that's my volume jump for my solos, when I need more volume. <laughs> Surprise! Then, the next one, that's an interesting loop. There's no pedal in here, which, you know, gives me a certain sound, that's just my uh, Leila P split, which helps me to split my sound and go straight to my dry amp which is the Rev Dynamis. In this amp, I only have the clean sound, the drive pedals, all sorts of, you know, volume jump for solos, and that's it. No modulation, no time bass effects. And then, from the P-Split, I will go back to my switcher, and um, the last loop is, again, two pedals. That's gonna be the Supro Tremolo, which is on the harmonic trem um, setting. And uh, the last one is the Nemesis from Source Audio for some crazy yeah. delay stuff. And then, goes into my wet amp, which is the Mark, Mark III. And um, this amp gets all the goodness that the other amp gets, plus it gets the modulation and the delay on top of it. So they're both mic'd, which is very nice, that the mixer guy can uh, decide how many, how, like, you know, what the percentage is between the dry sound and the effect sound, and uh, can avoid me <laughs> killing his mix with my way too much you know delay and whatever modulation going on and um that also gives me a, an incredible stereo sound here so it sounds so much more than the sum of two amps it's ridiculous i highly recommend trying a wedge dry setup you know even if it's like two tiny little combos and just you know some effects doesn't have to be a super expensive rig it's ridiculous andy you need to try this um i after hearing it yesterday, I understand totally what you're saying because um, it just makes it a lot clearer. And whereas guitarists were fighting with volume often and sometimes EQ if we're clever, the actual way to do it is a wet dry amp situation. <laughs> Simon on the drums, go and check out his channel Toman Drum Bash.
I made a mild customization to my board. There's one loop on my switcher I should never touch, which kills my triumph. Um, it shouldn't happen. It's now red. I mean, pink. Don't touch. I think I should have written, don't touch <laughs> on top. <laughs> but that might be enough, right? <laughs> this is the last day. This is the day. D-Day. It's D-Day. Early in the morning. Um, what's up, Dom? How do you feel about it? Um, quite excited. Not a little nervous, and but excited. And um, will be a great show tonight. Oh yes. Oh, Same yes. with me. Oh yeah. What's up, Simon? Hey guys. Very Thanks excited good. as well. Still a little bit of work to do, but could be awesome. Will we rock this? Yes, we will. Yep. <laughs> Was it convincing enough? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep. Um, Can't have your, Jason! Uh, ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, I do. Well, How you doing? Uh, uh, it's quite a it's quite a task for a non keyboard player to, you know, I'm used to these things. Don't get me wrong, but actually playing songs is yeah, it's quite a challenge. Nicole, this is Nicole. Hi hey. everyone. How do you feel about the show tonight? I feel great. I'm so excited. Can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. Have you ever been playing on a floating stage before? No, never, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> who has? I mean, who plays on floating stages? Well, we do. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do. tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm really, really busy and I'm super stressed. I really need to get this stuff done. I can step away from that pedal board. Hi, wait, Andy, wait, Andy. Hi. Say, say Hi. hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm over here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's my armpit. <laughs> How's air up there? Uh, Is thin. it colder? It's thin, it's colder, it's okay. slightly misty. How do you feel about the show today? I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. I'm having so much fun. So it's time to pack everything up. We are going to the lake. I'm a bad boy. Duh. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Duh. Nicole, we need you. We need you. Do a duh. Duh. Yeah, there's now That's we're talking. That's the duh. Okay, so we're what's doing behind that? us? What's behind us? We have oh, just God. filled the truck Ooh. with everything, okay. uh, including carpets. Uh, not drapes though, we're leaving the drapes behind. Wait, uh, wait, let me lift you up. Go on. Take it up there. Alright, let's see what's it. happening. Oh. See it? Can you tell what it is yet? Oh. Yeah, it's pretty full. Just like me. We have, we've absolutely got so much space in that truck. We could pack that three times over in there. Yeah. I could do it. I could do it within like 15 minutes. And I could watch you do it. You would be amazed. For hours. If I had a small team of roadies, or a team of small roadies, it would be hilarious. <laughs> I just arrived at the lake and uh, apparently I'm I'm too late. Too late to apologize. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. Well, then uh, I'll just watch the guys do the dirty job and I just chill here in the shades because it seems like people are going to get sunburn today. Take a look around. That's the one, that's the, the shop. That's some weird monkeys standing on a, a stage. And those are my guitars. Hey babies. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm just going on stage on my boat. What am I doing? <laughs> I still cannot believe what I'm doing. This is unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know. Someone's kind of busy filming you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I can see that. You're it's alright. It it's not yeah, like I'm, I know what I'm doing. Oh. That was fun. Hi, now let's play some music.
Oh no, a giant wasp. Well, so we're in the stage and uh, I made a mistake. I was watching down to set up my board and the stage is moving. <laughs> and then I pretty fast thought to myself, no, let's not watch down because otherwise I'll have to use the leg. <laughs> in a way, <laughs> in a way, no one wants me to use it. Oh my God, it's uh, weird. I really have to concentrate on ignoring that it's moving all the time. I need a few beers actually and then it feels totally natural. Backup guitar in my main tuning, main guitar as always, and my E flat is my self rebuilt junior. Hey guys, the gig is over. It's been incredible. It's been so much fun. I I was hoping, I was praying for it that it's it's that good, and it and it was. Hey. Simon on the drums. Yeah, it was, was it good? Amazing. It was amazing, man. Yeah, so great cool. guitars on the Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I found a gorilla. Hey, brother. I love you, man. How was the gig? Okay. For uh, me too. I didn't get all the notes right in all the songs. Okay. Um, me neither. <laughs> but we had so much fun, and, yes. and the people watching the video appeared to have so much fun yeah, with us. Yeah. And we're a band. And as I said in the video, a few days ago, we weren't. We were just some guys and yeah. girls going, oh my God, how are we going to do this? And yeah, yeah. I've been so stressed this week, and yesterday I had such a stress headache. Yeah, yeah. And today it's just gone. Me too. <laughs> me too. This has been. A fantastic experience. And <laughs> I'm not seasick. I was worried. <laughs> I forgot that we were on a yeah. lake. Yeah, because when you jump around, yeah. you don't give a crap. It's just, it's just, you know. The only time I remembered is when Nicole looked at me and went, <laughs> when I jumped at her. <laughs> and I mean, like, <laughs> the full Andy. <laughs> if you haven't watched the, the actual video, go on Thomas Guitars and Basses. Watch it. Uh, it's gotta be there. It's. <laughs> I hope the sound is as good as it was here on stage. It was, oh, the guys did an incredible job and it was so much fun. I will stop blabbering. You should thumbs up this video. Yes. You should write some comments and say how wonderful yes. you've had a time. Then you should subscribe. Yes. And once you subscribe, you should ring that bell because yeah. this is Chris Baracci. Woo. Thanks man. Thanks, man. Thanks everyone. Love you, love you, goodbye. Yeah,